You know, my opponents, they will keep on spending more money than we've ever seen before, trying to tell you that since government can't do everything, it should do almost nothing. Their basic philosophy is you're on your own. If you can't afford health insurance, hope you don't get sick. If you can't afford to go to college, try to borrow some money from your parents. Let me tell you something, that's not who we are. I don't think government can solve all of our problems, but I don't think it's the source of all of our problems. I don't want to spend all our time blaming somebody else, blaming unions or blaming immigrants or blaming gay people or blaming some other group for our troubles. I believe we're all in it together. I believe we've got to take responsibility for ourselves, but also look out for one another. I think we have a responsibility to create opportunity and possibility in this nation. That's what our election was four years ago. It was about you. You were the change. All of us coming together. You're the reason there's a mother in Madison who doesn't have to worry about her son being denied medical coverage because of a pre-existing condition. You made that happen. You're the reason there's a student at Marquette or, or University of Wisconsin who can afford to go to college now. Or a veteran on the new GI Bill, you accomplished that. You're the reason there's a family in, in Green Bay that got a tax cut and has a lot more money to buy groceries and put gas in the car and pay the bills. You're the reason that some young immigrant who grew up here and pledges allegiance to our flag won't be deported. You're the reason why an outstanding soldier can still serve in our military, because it doesn't matter who they love. We end the Don't Ask, Don't Tell. We've always said in this campaign that change takes more than one term. It takes more than one president. It takes more than one party. It can't happen if you write off half the nation. In 2008, 47% of the country didn't vote for me. But I said to those folks on election night, I said, I may not have won your vote, but I hear your voices. I need your help. I will be your president too. So I don't know how many folks will vote for me this time around, but I can tell you, I'll be with you no matter what. Because I'm not fighting to create Democratic jobs or Republican jobs, I'm fighting to create American jobs. I'm not fighting to improve schools in red states or schools in blue states, I'm fighting to improve schools in the United States. I'm not fighting just on behalf of workers or businesses or rich or poor, the 1% or the 99%. I'm fighting for American values. They belong to all of us. And if you still believe in that, if you still have hope, if you're still ready to go, I'm asking you for your vote. If you're willing to make some phone calls for me and knock on some doors for me, and vote for me. We'll win Milwaukee. We'll win Wisconsin. We'll finish what we started. And we'll remind the world why the United States of America is the greatest nation on earth. This sun is going to come out. God bless you. God bless the United States.